If you have outstanding debts that have been sent to a collection agency, it's important to be proactive and know how to talk to debt collectors when they call. It's crucial to have an action plan for what you're going to do and say. I'm Doug Hoyes, a licensed insolvency trustee with Hoyes Michaelis & Associates. Let's talk about the do's and don'ts of dealing with a debt collector. First, do ask for proof of the debt in writing. Under Ontario law, a collection agency is required to notify a debtor in writing at least six days before they can begin phoning you. In a written letter or email, they need to disclose the amount you owe, who you owe the debt to, and the name of the third-party collection agency. Do communicate any disputes you may have with the collection agent. If you don't think you owe the money or you have proof you've already paid the debt, then calmly explain that to the agent. You want to treat the collection agent the same way you would want to be treated, professionally and directly. If you prefer, do request that the collection agency stop calling you. You can do this by writing them a registered letter, but keep in mind that the letter doesn't stop collection action, it just stops the phone calls. Do hang up if you feel pressured or harassed. You can say, I don't owe this money, or this is not a good time. You are not obligated to talk to a debt collector when they call. Of course, if you don't talk to them, that may cause them to increase their collection activities, perhaps with legal action, but do not be intimidated when a collection agent says they will sue you. It's highly unlikely and in most cases not financially sensible for a collection agent to sue you if the debt is small. However, if the debt is large enough and they know where you're employed, the creditors you owe money to may decide to sue you and may be granted a wage garnishment against you. Don't be bullied into making promises you aren't able to keep. Only offer a payment plan that you can realistically afford. Missing payments will jeopardize any settlement agreement you made and just start the calls again. Do consider offering a lump sum settlement for less than the full amount owed. If they agree to this, it's important to get your agreement in writing before you send any money. Do learn about any limitation laws on debt for your jurisdiction. In Ontario, creditors have two years to start legal action. After two years, it's too late. Don't let the collection agency intimidate you by threatening to sue you for a debt that has passed the limitations period. Do remember the credit bureau purge policy. In most cases, a debt will automatically be removed from your credit report after six years of inactivity. So there may be no point in making a payment to a collection agency on a debt that is about to be or has been purged from your credit report. Only pay a collection agency when it is in your best interest to do so. If the debt is small, like just an old cell phone bill, it may be in your best interest to just pay it. However, paying old debts when you have many others may not help your overall finances. If a collection agency is calling you because you have too much debt, you need to make a plan to deal with all of your debt, not just the one they're calling you about. This is when a consumer proposal or bankruptcy may be the best option to stop the calls and deal with all of your debts once and for all. If you want to learn more about dealing with collection agencies, visit hoys.com and search collections. <laughs>